I mean, Dark Side in the Injustice universe is so savage. Who do you know that will torture death itself, the Black Racer? That's crazy to think about. And he's even imprisoned beings like Ares, actual deities. Dark Side made him experience soul crushing pain. DC Comics has a lot of universes to dive into live action, animated, multiple different versions of live action, multiple different versions of animated, animated movies, all in their own interconnected universe that brings to life our favorite characters that we might grow up with. We even got video game versions of the characters we like that have comics that expand on the lore injustice is what i want to go over today the injustice games i want to briefly go over dark side even though he lacks appearances i'll just let dark side introduce himself to you real quick are you a god from the fiery depths of apocalypse yeah this planet apocalypse they even narrated ruled by the most powerful the most dreaded force in the universe the merciless tyrant so yeah he is a deity from the fiery pits of apocalypse just like we already know if you're a fan of dark side or you know about just standard dc stuff that's like the same stuff the Injustice Universe, Darkseid has, right? Just like pretty much every universe, this Darkseid is obsessed with the anti-life equation, how of course he is, right? Similar to what we're all used to, since he's a ruler of Apocalypse, he has his own means like Parademons. When it comes to his tech, he seems like he has gear. You guys already probably know about Boom Tube. If you read DC Comics, he can teleport his minions to the battlefield or himself to other worlds so the Parademons can fight. Yeah, he always has Parademons with him. Just like how he's the ruler of the apocalypse, he has his own means or right-hand man or even second to right-hand man. Like you guys know about Granny Goodness. Yes, she exists in the Injustice Universe too. One of his means known as Steppenwolf exists in this universe too. He calls them his adopted children. Like, yeah, Darkseid has his own army. I mean, I guess that's the benefit of being a ruler over a whole planet. It's not just him you got to worry about, but other powerful fighters. You guys might remember Calabac. He exists in this Injustice Universe too. One of Darkseid's sons. In this universe, Superman killed Darkseid's son, Calabac. But let's analyze this video game version of Darkseid, shall we? You guys know about Darkseid's famous Omega Beams, or just one could say his Eye Blast, Laser Blast, that we see him do a lot in the main continuity comics. He can do it in this video game version shown in the comics. And this ability is shown in gameplay, his laser beam, Omega effect, beams that can turn. His body is extremely resilient to the point where even Kryptonian high-end tiers like Superman's punches can damage him, but he can absorb his hits and keep on fighting still though. And not to mention Darkseid can punch hard, clashing blows with Superman himself with his punching power. And when it comes to his blast power, he's kind of got an ego. You can't tell Darkseid to stop or he'll just blast you out of existence really, even if you're his minion. Players literally stated he has the Omega effect. That's why you see him blasting stuff without even necessarily being in that direction. Don't ask, but there was like a He-Man crossover. Uh, yeah, Darkseid was trying to enter the castle, you know, Castle Grayskull, and it was kind of tough to get in there at first, but he put more juice behind it and blasted in, making his own entrance. We've even seen him clash with a Shazam-powered Skeletor. Like, his raw strength is so crazy to where even Kryptonians, by, he can even grab Kryptonians by the neck with his raw physicals. For the most part, Darkseid in pretty much any universe is always a threat, but let's analyze this Injustice video game version of Darkseid, shall we? There's implications that he can use his beams in other ways or blast power through his hands, not just necessarily limited to his eyes. I mean, he already has super strength and can punch hard, but one could say he can amplify his punching power even more with the Omega effect by increasing his attacks through his hands to increase the potency of his strikes. And the crazy thing about the Omega beams or the Omega effect, he can shoot it in any way possible to where he can even hit you from other angles. So it's kind of hard to dodge his attacks. There's implications he could increase his size via boom tube. He probably has more abilities we haven't seen because he lacks screen time. When he goes after something, he goes with full throttle. If you're trying to be one of them sorcerers that won't let him get it, he would just backhand you like this. So when we talk about his raw power, like his blast power is crazy to go against a Shazam powered Skeletor in a sort of extended fashion. You can see how resilient his body is able to stand up to stabs and he continues fighting after this stab breaking this sword after this stab then overpowers him with his physical bear hits to show how hard he can hit like we see his beams clash with superman here his strikes can send superman away his punches can definitely damage superman to show his power level and the same with his blast power with omega beams when it comes to boxing beings up one of the strongest beings known as lobo there's implications that dark side boxed them up in this universe here pulling up the dark side talking about let's dance but yeah the best way to understand this universe dark side's might is literally this fight with superman superman is fighting pretty hard dark side is able to get in a fist fight with enraged superman like i brought up, up already in this video punching him back here even when he's enraged Two powerhouse beings like Superman and Darkseid clashing so hard, blasting each other's beams. Like, you can literally see how these panels are animated to show that this is a tough fight between the two, both being enraged. Darkseid still holding his ground. 
Superman implied not to be holding back, saying we fight to the death. On the planet of Apocalypse, this is a combination of Superman and Darkseid punching each other. They implied to tremble the entire planet of Apocalypse. They even called their attacks world-crushing dominance. The battle was causing crazy collateral damage. It was so bad that one of Darkseid's minions that always witnesses Darkseid's divine wrath feared that this would actually be the death of them. That's how hard this fight was. There's a few ways we can take this. This right here could imply their punches, dark size punches included. Him and Superman's blows colliding could imply their punches are trembling the entire planet. Could imply that Superman and dark size punches could imply that they are trembling the entire planet with their blows, which is crazy to think about. See, here's the thing. This is what happens when you Google the term geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is a thermal energy in the Earth's crust. And beings on other planets can feel their clash, apparently, while well, they're analyzing their clash, talking about apocalypse is discharging at dangerous levels of geothermal energy. If the planet's core has a meltdown, it will explode, killing millions and flooding the galaxy with radiation. It was so crazy they needed to find out what was happening. It is talking about how Darkseid is locked in mortal combat with a Kryptonian called Superman. Their fight is technically threatening all the inhabitants of the entire planet of apocalypse, with these two literally just having a fist fight. One could say this is a true bloodlusted fight. We see them clash punches and Superman's punch was clashing so crazy that the core is about to rupture of the planet and decide one of his minions said you got to stop. And that's when he blasted him like I already showed. Their fight was so crazy that Orion, Darkseid's son, had to come up and say, Superman, chill out. Affecting the surface of a planet is one thing, but your hits and strikes, your attacks affecting things to the point where the core might actually explode is another thing. This, as a bare minimum, proves that this version of Darkseid's fist can produce planet-shattering force as a bare minimum. Like, you know it was real when people on other planets have to come to the planet and tell them to stop fighting because they're threatening so many lives because of their punching power and just collateral of their fight. And everybody knows Darkseid's blast power. One could argue his blast power is better than his actual punches. So if his punches and stuff can cause this much collateral planet shatter, you literally see his physical doing this to Superman with super strength. What do you think his eye blast can do? This pretty much confirms that his eye blast as a bare minimum has to have similar or even greater force than his punches, meaning his eyes could shatter a planet or the planet's core as well. His eye blast, omega effect, or mega beam. Or how hard would his fist punch with the Omega effect going through his fist too? You know, same concept, right? And plus, we don't really know if this is his absolute limit. That's just like a small collateral of them fighting. We don't know if they could have started threatening more or something. You know, that's like a bare minimum. But in all honesty and seriousness, he could probably destroy planetoids like the Earth or Moon with his hands literally behind his back because all he would have to do is just shoot an Omega effect at the Earth's core and just blow it up that way, <laughs> you know? Okay, so you know how Injustice Universe is separate from the main continuity comics like Rebirth Superman, Post-Crisis Superman, New 52 Superman, like the main continuity people? What if I told you Injustice Superman has actually interacted with main continuity Rebirth Superman's actual son? This could change the game for what their power levels is if you want to speculate on some things because you guys know how the main continuity versions of these characters are way past star shattering, beings that can hold up the heavens and stuff. Like, it gets kind of crazy when you think about the fact there's a a great possibility these two could be equal and this just makes dark side look more impressive because dark side literally slug fested with injustice superman in a battle to the death type of battle threatening the entire planet about to make it explode this is mainly thanks to multiversal hopping or universe hopping and stuff you know the multiverse or universe shenanigans in dc they do you guys remember ultraman somebody that's been popping up a lot in main continuity comics this character superman's son of this alternate reality was giving him some work and this was a tough fight, so I'll let you know the Ultraman power level. And the reason why this is impressive is because he had him on the ropes here. And here comes Injustice Superman strong enough to pop his neck. It lets you know that the writer intent is for the Injustice Superman character, Superman, not to be far away from these main continuity characters. They, like, was testing his power. They said, in terms of raw power, you might be stronger than our Superman. Might, like, implying that there's might. it's not like a gap in power. Comparing Injustice Superman to, like, main continuity, rebirth Superman type characters. Stuff like this could really give you a new perspective on how strong these Injustice characters are being way above planet shattering level even being way above star shattering at this point because main continuity rebirth characters do crazy stuff but yeah as a bare bare man on being disrespectful dark side could definitely destroy planets but if we were to assume injustice superman is comparable to rebirth superman that would change the game considering how strong the main continuity versions of these characters are but that's none of my business guys like we're not gonna get into how powerhouses in dc can bear the weight of the heavens on their shoulders in the myth, like similar to myth lore when it comes to Greek mythology. And Rebirth Superman has to bear this burden. His son should be somewhere in his levels of power. Like, we're not going to get on that, though. But, you know, 
even though there's implications that the myth beats do apply in DC of Atlas holding the heavens and Superman had to replace him to relieve him of his duty. You know, even in old comics, new comics imply that they keep this same myth feet in the continuity of DC. It doesn't get retconned really, but this is none of my business. But what do you guys think? Do you respect Injustice Dark Side? I would say you have no choice to, to be able to slug fest with Superman when he's this mad is impressive. I hope you guys enjoyed. Respect this Injustice Dark Side. But I gotta... Give a quick thanks to the donators real quick. It helps out a lot. His might, the might of Dark Side is impressive. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.